it is time for my second shaker and spoon unboxing video i did one last month and um well i mean this is a monthly box service of course we're gonna do another one i've been hanging with this one for like two weeks uh because i was waiting to get back from a trip and then waiting for a day when i wanted to actually unbox it and then make the drinks and that's taken a while because summertime so first of all Hey, I'm Jax, how are you doing? I like to unbox things. Um, my hair's probably garbage today, but I don't care. We're gonna open this box. It's gonna have booze in it, and then we're gonna drink it. I already bought the alcohol it recommends because I cheated and looked online, but this is Shaker and Spoon, and we're gonna open it up. All right. I was actually really happy to discover that this new camera I got last month um, takes great videos and does good audio, so hopefully this is coming through pretty okay. But um, Shaker and Spoon, this is the box for June, even though it's July. And oh, hi, I'm Jax. Hi, hello. Uh, so we're gonna open it up. This one's supposed to be the last one was like um, like bourbon, and I don't really love bourbon, but I tried it, and the drinks were okay. Um, but this I actually think I will like, and I've never had this kind of alcohol before. This is St. Germain um, Elderflower liqueur. Never tried it before, never even heard of it. So I'm trying things that I wouldn't normally do. So we're going to go ahead and open the box. Open the box. Does it look great? Ta-da! You want it a little closer? Here. So, these are all great. They tell you what you need, the glassware, your booze, your tools. They give you how-to videos if you need to, so you can like hone your skills on drink making and easy share tips. So in our June box, there's the alcohol they suggest that we get, and I got it. Look, I did a good job. Look, the box closed already too. I'm a pro. And there's a bunch of drinks you can make, like the St. Germain Spritz, which is elderflower liqueur, champagne and sparkling water i don't think i bought sparkling water so i might have to work on that um this box doesn't want to behave please behave box so there's drink recipes too so again there's the um, myrtle spritz we're gonna be making a green thumb cooler a darkened summer moon and a putting on the spritz is the title of the box so it tells you everything that's in it and what you need and the glossary of barware and glassware Drink break. Put this back a smidge. There we go. Okay, we'll get into the box. So first and foremost, we have some Margaret lime leaves. Never heard of those before. Let's see. Okay. Smells like leaves. Okay, we'll put those down here. <laughs> there are some lemons. And thankfully, they are still great after being in there for a couple weeks and after my 20-year-old daughter not checking the mail for three of the days that it was in the mailbox in the hot, hot South Carolina sun. All right. <laughs> We've also got some cinnamon sticks. I think we're all familiar with those. Really nice and cinnamony. Um, what else is in here? We've got blueberry cinnamon syrup. Yum! So these are all like, I mean, just uh, nothing crazy in here. Filtered water, cane sugar, blueberry puree, ginger puree, cinnamon sticks, and citric acid. Refrigerate after opening. Okay, I got that. There are some celery bitters. Interesting. So we're gonna go for something earthy on one of these, right? I've never tried anything like these before. Last month's was great. I've got the video up if you guys wanna check it out. Oh, they include the sparkly water. Cool. So we've got a thing of boiling lime seltzer. A little sparkly water. So there's some lime stuff happening here. I'm excited about that. Actually, I'm not a huge fan of citrus, like orange stuff for some reason, but like, I like limes and lemons, you know, why not? What else is in the box? There's so much fluff. It's like a party. Oh, more lemons. More lemons. All right, cool. Woo, how do you like them lemons? And then there's, ooh, this looks weird. Look at it swirly and it's got stuff in it. What is it? Salted green garden shrub. What? 
champagne vinegar, snap peas, cucumber, cane sugar, parsley, citric acid, and sea salt. You know, I did this juice cleanse once and they sent me all kinds of really gross weird stuff. This sounds like that. I lost like five pounds, but then I gained it back again after I ate carbs. All right, um, what else is in here? Dig, 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 dig. It looks like last, but not least. Oh no, there's two things in here, hold on. There's a glass they sent, first of all. Let's see what that is when we get this stuff out of it. Um, Neri Goma syrup, filtered water, black sesame paste, ooh, organic wildflower honey and citric acid. What is it? And then there's um, a glass. That's kind of neat. The last one was just like drink ingredients. Um, can you, can you? Oh god, it's how to make. Oh, it's an actual Saint Germain. That's the that's the alcohol I got. Look, the thing. Da, 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 da. A glass to measure to make it. So you fill to here with champagne or dry white wine. You fill to here with the Saint Germains, and then you fill to here with sparkling water, and you don't mess the drink up. All right, these are gonna be fun to make. The one I'm thinking is gonna be the weirdest for me, because I'm not a big fan of like earthy stuff, is this green thumb cooler. So that's gonna have the garden spice. Is there garden spice in here? Oh. Oh, I didn't even see that. The thing of garden spice. It's like taco seasoning. Oh my gosh, it smells like you would think the earth would smell. Um, so that one's gonna have garden spice, the Saint Germain, the salted green garden shrub, weird, weird stuff, celery bitters, and lime seltzer. All right, well these kind of neat, look neat. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing these drink recipes in action, actually made, um, make sure to follow me on, um, I'll post them on Instagram and Twitter, so Jack's Box Chick on there too. I started a TikTok recently too, that was an interesting choice. Same name, I don't know what I'm doing with it because I'm old, but um, make sure to drop a comment, let me know what, is the weirdest kind of drink you've ever tried. Um, I'll probably crop this and actually put my face in it, but I'm gonna try all these. They're probably gonna be delicious. I'm really weary about the green one. Um, let me know if you guys wanna see videos of me like enjoying them or something and commenting, I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching to see what was inside my June shaker and spoon cocktail box. I'll keep doing these every month because they're entertaining. Um, feel free to leave some comments below, like what's the weirdest drink you've ever tried that you would never have thought would have been delicious? Or favorite thing to drink in general? I always comment back, so leave me some comments. Let me know if you watched the video and enjoyed it. I will have more boxes for you this month and every month, so keep coming back and I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Now I'm gonna make some drinks. If you guys wanna see the drinks, that were in this box, I'll make sure to post them on my Instagram and Twitter. Same name, Jack's Box Chick. Feel free to follow there too. I'll post drinks, uh, pictures of like the stuff that went in them and stuff. And stuff. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching.